Welcome back to another episode of Rob Sports Center, man. If you click on this video for some New Orleans Saints talk, then you are on the right channel. You're on the right video for the New Orleans Saints talk, but if you clicked on this channel for sports talk, period, then you're on the right channel. But for this video, if you clicked on this for the Saints, then you're on the right video. So, I've been thinking, and let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, too. Um, if you're Saints fans, and even if you're not Saints fans, you're football fans, you're kind of aware of things, let me know your take on this. So, in my opinion, this year is a must-win year for Dennis Allen. It's a must-win year. You know what I mean? We have not been to the playoffs since Drew Brees. And if you're a New Orleans Saints fan, depending on how long you've been a fan, um, playoffs was almost like a given to us. We know we when we had Brees, it was never a question of if we were going to go to the playoffs. It was a question of how far were we going to go because we're going. We was going to make it whether it was the wild card or whether we got a divisional round. We knew that we was going to the playoffs. We just didn't know exactly how far that we were that we were actually going to go. But in recent years, with Breeze retiring now, as Saints fans, we don't even know if we're going to go to the playoffs, which we haven't been back since Drew Breeze has retired. And you know, obviously, we struggle to find an identity in terms of a quarterback after Breeze left. So a lot of that can be chalked up to that. I don't think that. To a certain degree, it was all just bad coaching on Sean Payton's end. Um, he might have just looked for a, re, a, a, a first start somewhere else when he, you know, with him going to Denver and Dennis Allen taking over as head coach. And then here's the thing, too. I didn't put too much blame on Dennis Allen um, originally just because, like I said, we were still trying to find an identity. You know, we went from Jameis Winston to uh, Andy Dalton and now from Andy Dalton to Derek Carr. And it's like last year we was having expectations that we were going to have a better year than what we did, you know, um, and I actually thought that myself too, but sometimes it, it doesn't happen. You know what I mean? We had, we, we took steps in a positive direction towards the end of the year um, in terms of, you know, actually being able to kind of, you know, move the ball fluently and, you know, even actually being able to score when you get down in the red zone. But um, the reason why I say it's a must win year, because now we got a two year, this is going to be a second year quarterback. Um, with Derek Carr, we got rid of our old offensive coordinator, Pete Carmichael, who was still coming with that outdated scheme of doing the Taysom Hill stuff every game. You know what I mean? And we wasn't, in my opinion, we was not putting the team as a whole, but more specifically, Derek Carr in the best position to be successful. You know, I think that, for one, we couldn't really ever establish our identity as in the run. So when you can't establish your identity in the run and teams aren't afraid of you hurting them in the run, and they know all that you only way that you can maneuver to move the ball is through the air. It, it, it makes it a lot more easier to, to, um, to stop. You know what I mean? So we, 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 it was a lot of complications, you know, last year and things just didn't line up. You know, you got to think about it. We had the Michael Thomas crap going on. Um, then, you know, for a little minute, um, you had the Aaron Kamara stuff going on with the, um, arrest and stuff like that. So it was, it was those like little small things like that. Um, obviously, you know, defense played they ass off just like they did the year before, just like I'm assuming they're going to do this year. But hopefully offense will be able to match them. But in my opinion, this most definitely is a must-win season. And this reasons why I say that, right? So, for one, we haven't made the playoffs since Drew Brees. That's one. For two, we got rid of our old offensive coordinator and brought in the new offensive coordinator, Clint Kubiak, which is the son of um, Gary Kubiak, which they're in intertwined with the Shanningham style offense you know like the um the wide zone and that's something that we're going to be incorporating this year and you know we got the talent to do it we got the running backs to do it we got the offensive linemen to do it and then once we can establish an identity like i said with the run now it sets it up for play action and after that the, the playbook becomes limitless because you're hitting them with a one two they don't really know what to expect you know what i mean so it's not as predictable and do we need we still need to use Taysom Hill? yeah most definitely we can still use him and still incorporate it in the things that he was doing but that doesn't need to be our identity that doesn't need that doesn't need to be something that we doing every possession you know what i mean every drive you know it needs to be something that we kind of throw in there to kind of you know confuse them or distract them um but you take it to the offense you look at it look at look at when we go to positions you got alvin Kamara and jamal williams you know williams a year ago well, two years ago now, led the Lions, well, led the league in rushing touchdowns. You know what I mean? Do you, everybody know what Kamara is and what he brings to the team? That's self-explanatory. But then we got Chris Olave. You know, he's coming into his own now since Michael Thomas is out the way. Now he can step up into that role as being that new number one. And then you got Shahid that can come in as number two. But I see that we just re-signed Callaway. That's a good re-sign because 
he understands the the Saints' way. You know what I mean? He understands things in a in a um in, in an aspect. Even though the offense is gonna be a little bit different this year, but he still has the the understanding of what to expect, you know, and he was a solid receiver, you know, for the time that we had him. It's just, unfortunately, we couldn't put the pieces together when we had him, you know, so we had to lose him, but we ended up getting him back. Then we got a pretty solid tight end. Um, I think his name was Jawan Johnson. We got a pretty good tight end with him. Then, obviously, you know, we got the defense. Defense is going to always be – defense is going to always do what they do. I was seeing some stuff with Elante Taylor. You know, I guess he made – he been making a couple plays in training camp, which, you know, defense, that's never the question. It's always been our offense. But with all of that being said – there's no reason why with this offense we have now, even with the new system being implemented, why we should have the same strokes we had last year, and that's barely being able to score more than 14 points. You know what I mean? Like that, when you look at the team last year, we had the team that it should have been the expectation this year, in my opinion, in terms of the must win. But we with complications here and there, you understand it, but this year it shouldn't be any of that. It shouldn't be no struggling to score 14 points. It shouldn't be no getting to the red zone and having to constantly set up for field goals. It shouldn't be any of that. It needs to constantly be, we need to be in a position to where we can reward our defense with putting points up on the board. And what do I mean by rewarding our defense? Our defense is coming out game to game, playing a hell of a game, you know, stopping the other team. And we're not giving them, we're not making their jobs any easier because as soon as they leave off the field, because we can't score, for, we can't um, get a first down, we can't gain 10 yards. Now the defense has to be right back on the field. You know what I mean? So we need to reward them for their hard work. And whenever they stop these other teams, consistently be putting points up on the board. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like I said, in my opinion, this most definitely is a must-win season um, for the Saints. And I'm so excited, too, for this new playbook just to see how everything is going to play out because um, I've heard the Saints defensive linemen talking about it. Um, I just got done hearing David Carr, which is Derek Carr's um, older brother. He spent some time in the um, NFL, too obviously, but he was talking about how, how, how much our offense resembled the 49ers offense. Cause like I told you, it's from the cop, the Shanahan. He comes from that, you know, that foundation, um, uh, Clint Kubiak does, which is our new offensive coordinator. So he was saying that he's seen similarities. He's like, he was saying that he was seeing, you know, um, different plays that was leading to wide receivers being, you know, wide open on the sideline or whatever the case may be. So I'm most definitely excited for that. Um, but like I said, man, this is a must see must win season for us. And if you're a Saints fan, like I said at the beginning, man, let me know what you guys think and let me know why you guys think that, you know, and I because I really want to know, I want to be able to, you know, chop game up with you guys and, you know, get your opinion and, you know, kind of elaborate on my opinion a little bit more. But that is it for this video, man. If you guys did enjoy this video, do me a big, big, big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Or if you're watching my videos and you've been watching them for this long, you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, click that post notification bell that way you'll be notified every time I upload because just like the Goat Drizzy Drake say, and just like I say in every outro, I got these videos coming back to back, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out this thing. Peace.